We are Scissors oh, for Lefty. lefty. <laughs> <laughs> We are Scissors for Lefty. Next up, Kyle, you are Jim just now. Goes in the chimpanzee, you came swinging in my life. Monkeys kill the miserables. Hey. They were in school together down in San Luis Obispo, and I right, was there yeah. wanting to start a band because he was in another band, her brother. So we met, met Brian and just started Scissors for Lefty and then joined with these guys. What's happening? This is Pete Krimmel. Now I'm gonna run in place. We started off right around 2000. Uh, we used to play shows like once a season, thinking that was a lot. Oh, the summer show is coming, you know, and the winter show. Um, then we started playing for reals. And suddenly we went from playing three or four shows a year to a hundred shows a year. I love the gear! I a little my marker right there and threw myself last week. Hey, Ron. Oh, hey there, how's it going? Good. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm, uh, I'm probably one of the many goons you'll see in Scissors for Lefty. Uh. <laughs> uh, but mostly I like to sing for the band, I like to write lyrics. And, uh, oh, I got a special, special little treat I'd like to show you. We have influences from hip hop, influences from Motown, influences from 60s uh, Brit rock, and uh, and a lot of modern day stuff too. All of us will you know work on the songs, but usually two to three of us, it'll be we'll get the energy going for a, someone will say, hey, I like that, keep going with it, and we'll add something to it, and maybe we'll record it with our you know little tape recorder or cell phone or something, anything nearby. Uh, and then we'll show this to the rest of everybody else, then the personality starts coming out in the song. I, I write the lyrics, but these guys have to like them. So uh, it's kind of a um, committee. We all live in San Francisco. So we live there, practice there, make friends there. Mm -hmm. And from there we just travel around a bunch. But that's our city. But lately we live you can't really get a good angle of it at this moment, but we live in a blue van. <laughs> Little known fact about, about band vans, you can get a U-Haul trailer for $9 a day. Look at that. Still plenty of space for you. More importantly, let's take a look over here. We've got James No Shirt on. Right over here. Our new dark blue blue whale. Not all vans come with purple jersey material pillows or Flip down DVDs. Go. Trick is, you gotta buy them used. If you buy them new, you can't ever afford a van like this. If you buy it used, preferably off of grandma. Usually, grandmother conversion vans are the steals of the century. Notice the drill is the body color. It's very important. On the top. We all drive, except for James. He drives kind of scary. Hi, I'm James. I'm from Scissors for Lefty. I'm the drummer. And uh, ah! I'm spending up some fans here, trying to keep them away. And uh, you'll be seeing me later on this year. Do you know Carl? Scissors for Lefty usually likes to put out albums that are uh, somewhat of a play or a little bit of a story. Underhanded Romance. Yes, that's the one. Underhanded Romance uh, was our, we kind of think of it as our own love affair with the city of San Francisco. We find that the city has a certain charm to it that's a little bit underhanded and uh, seemed to jive with us pretty good. Oh, you see Robin Got a flat now, room for both of us. Now, Underhanded Romance, we worked with a friend of ours, Charles Gooden, down in Los Angeles. And he had done a bunch of work with some other people, and we thought he could record our drums and bass and keyboards really well. Uh, we did our own album called Bruno. We love that album, but Underhanded Romance is a lot more playful and has a lot more of, uh, of the songs that we do in our lives. So. Yeah, I think we often found that uh, our first take was more than likely our best one. You know, we might we might try it like three, four times, but uh, more than not, it seemed like uh, the first take was probably the best, most inspired. Hi, this is Robbie Garza. This is this for Lefty. I I'm being forced to uh, say hello to everybody. Somebody help! Get me a guitar or an amp or something. You know, we like to celebrate the lighter sides of life sometimes, 
uh, we do have serious music and serious songs, but we like to have serious uh, uh, well, antics if we can, because that's what we remember. It makes our shows more worthwhile. So well, we want to present it in a fun manner as well. I mean, we don't want to go up on stage and have like a big ego. Hey, how's it going? My name is Steve Garza, and I'm here to do a little dance session for you guys. Continuity is our best asset, I think, when we play our live shows, because uh, you never know what we're going to do that night. Whatever spontaneity is. Yeah, whatever. Well, <laughs> spontaneity. Spontaneity, there we go. Well, it's like continuity. It's good, yeah. it's good to have our English uh, teachers here. We, we all we like to do other things in life, of course, but I think this is kind of the time that it makes most, our ankles are at their best, uh, yeah. and why not let other people know about it if we could? Yeah, immediate goal is just to get out and spread the word out. You know, spend a lot of time in our van touring around the country and trying to meet as many people as we can and just tell about our album. 